My name is Chandler. My name is Ashley. And we've been going to Pine Lake for three years. When we first got married, we were living in Bradenton, Florida. Um, Chandler was teaching. I was working at a hospital as a social worker. Moved to Tallahassee, Florida after the first year and he pursued his master's and um, I worked and, um, you know, three years later, Maddie came along and two years later, Parker came along. 2019 was really, really hard for us as a couple um, and as a family. Um, this really kind of began with, um, I resigned. I was the, the principal at Oxford High School. Also throughout that time, that summer, my father died. Um, and so at that point, I lost both of my parents, which was, um, which was tough. Immediately after that, uh, Ashley um, lost her job. And so there was a really a, a full year of uncertainty in our family, and it was hard. Um, we, you know, sometimes you doubt, was it something I've done? Was it something, a decision that I made? Did I make the wrong decision? As the man of the household, you feel certain pressures you know, to provide for your family, um, to um, provide for your kids. And at that time, I started to doubt my ability to do so. Um, my attitude changed, you know, my, my personality changed. Um, I got, I would spend time, just, I'd want to be alone. I wouldn't want to be around people, not even my wife at times, you know, and, and though she, um, she would try to encourage me. I honestly, I didn't, I didn't really want to hear it. Um, I just wanted God to answer me. And um, I know it was hard on my wife and my kids. I tried to be there for my kids. You know, I'd go to their baseball games and their soccer games, and, um, but it kind of felt empty. You know, because in the back of my mind, um, I wasn't being the, the, the man that I thought God wanted me to be. I think what I felt was being feeling like a failure as a mom, as a wife. Um, I'm sorry. As a working mom, um, you know, when you're a two income household, things change when one of your incomes is gone. And so, you know, I think. As a mom, you want to teach your children, especially from a spiritual side, to be faithful. Um, you want to show your spouse that you're strong. Um, and I wasn't always strong. I felt very weak. I just knew I needed someone to speak to. So I'd sit down with Jody or Jonathan, um, you know, and just small moments of interaction sometimes of, or sit down for 30 minutes to an hour of conversation. just. Um, knowing someone is there. God knew who to use and what to say, even when I did not want to hear it. So um, that brought me out of a dark place. You know, I think it's easy to not go out. It's easy to not be a part of a group. It's easy to just take yourself out of the equation um, and feel sorry for yourself and not rely on others. And so I, I, I specifically remember looking forward to Wednesday nights and to um, going to youth and simply serving pizza, you know, and then church services. It was those Sunday, those songs. I mean, I, I cried probably every church service. <laughs> what really kind of guided, get, taught me to be more faithful is, you know, to continue to tithe. You know, when, when you're down in income, was trying to be faithful and, and he kept on saying, you know, it's gonna come through. And I can remember the day of church, February, when we did the one minute of prayer. Um, one minute of prayer, one minute every day. And I put the sticker on my Bible and I said, I'm praying for a job. And I did it every single day. And on February 14th, I got the call. And we got to tell the kids we're staying. It was a time where I kind of let my job, uh, some things of our life kind of just take the front and center stage. I think God used this scenario and used this process to say, Chandler, come back to me. I am happier now at this moment than I've been forever. We dance in our kitchen. That might be a little odd, but we do. Um, and so, you know, playing music in the house and, and dancing around and joking with our kids and just being more of a family, getting back to the norm of of who we are and, and you know what we love to do. And I think that, you know, looking back at it now, um, that's what God said to me and to our family through this. Um, he said that um, He used the church and the people and the circumstances to really um, shine a light onto Him, you know, and to show just how, that's a weird word, but how awesome He is.